what we're looking at today is a 50 square meters of a balcony and what we have here is we have tiles laid on adhesive on top of felt and then we have a concrete substrate so the balcony is leaking in a couple of places it's actually pretty bad the tiles are lifting in some places so what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip the tiles the next step will be to remove the adhesive from the felt then we're gonna power wash the balcony then we're gonna waterproof it using the Lava 20 fully reinforced system. Today we're gonna come back and fit the composite decking to the entire balcony. We're gonna show you this job from start to finish. So let's get it going. So here we made a hole using the Kango and we were taking the tiles off. So in order for the roof not to leak when we're power washing it, we have to temporarily repair those patches before we start power washing. So we have prepared the cut, we have cut out the, sli the slice of felt, we have cleaned it using wire brush and now we're gonna apply the PU mastic. Now remember that this is only a temporary repair. We don't want to flood the house while we're power washing. And we're gonna do it in a couple of other places. We didn't do much damage, there's only a couple of holes. There's one here, and there is one here. And there's one on the other side. Very important step when doing the likes of this job. If we didn't do that, when we're power washing the balcony, this would end up as a total disaster because the house would flood as a result. Now that we have the balcony power washed and clean, what we have to do now is we have to dry it before applying the Lava 20. And the way to dry it is that you get a towel every time we buy new towels and we dry every single drop of water off the balcony before we introduce the heat. The problem with using heat on the likes of this is that once you introduce direct heat from a torch like you can see over there to the felt, it's going to release the oils from within the felt and they're go it's going to bring them to the surface and that can affect the addition at the later stage. So that, that's why we try to avoid using the heat as much as we can. So we take every single drop off the roof using rags and then we use the heat from the distance from about a meter away in order to avoid direct flame. We have the balcony nice and dry. Uh, we have this plastic here just in case if it's gonna rain or snow in a minute, we're gonna cover it up. So we're gonna start with the priming. Now, very important tip, when you're using the primer, don't pour it into a bucket and then dip the roller in the bucket. It's always better to use a tray because then you can get rid of the excess of the primer when you're applying it. The key to applying the primer is not to use too much of it, is to put a light skin. So we start with doing the edges and now we're going to start rolling. So there we get rid of the excess of the primer from the roller and we start priming. We have the area nicely primed. What we're going to do now is we're going to mix the accelerator with the lava. Usually there is a small accelerator for this type of can, but we have today is we have the bigger one, so we're gonna split it into four. We're gonna start with doing the edges and going underneath of the flashings. Notice what we did with the flashings. The flashings always should be brought up and the waterproofing system should go underneath. And then we're, the next day we're gonna tap the flashings back into its place. We have all of the edges done, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply coat of the Lava 20 and then we're gonna follow with the matting and that's gonna be topped up with another coat of Lava on top. And here we have the matting. So we're applying a layer of the Lava, we're throwing the matting on top of it and we're gonna roll it out. It's totally different fiberglass. It's flexible, it will expand and contract, it will not crack, it's, uh, it's one of the best alternatives to fiberglass. 
in my opinion. We have been using this system for a long, long time and we don't get comebacks, so it's a winner. <laughs> so now we're rolling out the mutton. And now we're throwing another heavy coat of the Lava 20 on top of the mutton. The mutton is only required on bitumen based substrates. So if you're applying the system onto asphalt or felt or any modified bitumen, you will require the mutton. However, if you're applying it onto OSB, metal or any non-bitumen substrates, you do not need the mutton. You can use it, but you don't have to. Here we have two strips of the mutton fitted already. It's uh, very important to overlap the mutton on top of the other mutton by about 100 mil. I'm gonna show you that closer. You can see it right there. So here we have the mutton and it's overlapping by about 100 mil. And we have to do it across the entire roof. Sylvester is going around the edges. So this, ba this balcony will take about six buckets of 15 kilos of lava. Two primers and six small accelerators. That's all you need to do this type of job. Yeah, so now we have the balcony fully waterproofed with uh, wet on wet lava applied with the mutton. All I have left is one square meter here. Then we're gonna follow with the decking. <laughs> 